Shalom. I want to start off by saying all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from, who rule well. And salutations and uh, blessings upon the hopeful elect. Alright, coming back to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, this lesson here. Well, I was inspired to do this from watching this morning um, a video from Apostle Gabar. On uh, basically, it was it was titled about uh, a scary future, right? About things to meditate upon that are gonna come upon this earth and that are gonna affect the body of the Lord's elect. And uh, the apostle in the video, he mentioned uh, Jacob's trouble and, and just the word trouble in general. And that kind of that kind of sparked me in my in my spirit to look into the word and get into this little topic here. So I'm going to start off with Jeremiah 30, verse 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. We're heading into a time, okay, um, it's not just one day it's going to be a number of days where great distress vexation and peril will abound in this earth and we're coming to a time that has never yet been uh, witnessed or experienced upon the earth okay it's going to be greater than World War One okay it's going to be greater than World War two you know, it's going to be greater than the calamities of old, even Noah's, the, the, the flood, right, that flooded the earth. It said, none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Jacob pursuing through the, all the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, right? We're all on the same page there. Um... You know, we're coming into that time of, of, of great distress, man. And you got to have a, 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 you know, like a, a shoulder on your head. Or I mean, head on your shoulders. And the whole premise of what the Apostle was speaking about was really just meditating upon certain situations. You know, a key situation of great urgence that you should... You know, pay your mind to is um, you know the situation of your children looking at you and your woman looking at you, taking the chip and looking at you. Like, daddy, take the chip. You know, that's a hell of a situation. But we're coming into those times where those great decisions and quick judgments you're gonna have to make. You're gonna have to go through the physical appearance of looking at your family and saying, "Damn, I'm gonna lose them." You gotta go through that, man. And what I mean, go through this, look through, look, uh, uh, look through the flesh, which is weak. The flesh is telling you, yeah, man, just take the chip, be with your family, be happy, feed them, right? But this is not profitable, man, and this is um, truly upsetting to the Lord, all right? So I'm going to, I looked up this word trouble in the same scripture, blue letter, which is Tazara. Tazara. Which means straits, <clears throat> distress, trouble, <clears throat> vexer, rival wife. <laughs> hey, it tells you in the Apocrypha, it is better to dwell at the corner of a house, you know, than with a brawling woman. Right? But, um... The point being is, is, is the distress, the, 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 the straight part, the um, vexation, vexer, you know. To be in distress, man, that means your nerves are shot to hell. You know, you think there's no way out of, of, of all this to be in distress. That's a very great word. Um, when you go through the scriptures, there's a lot of... <clears throat> There's a lot of uh, uh, when you type in trouble in general in, 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 uh, in the concordance, you 
type of trouble in the concord is a lot of scriptures and uh, these scriptures are telling you what's what's to come when you go to the book of second Ezra, there's a few scriptures right look second Ezra 227 be now weary for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh others shall weep and be sorrowful but thou shalt be merry and have abundance this is talking about that day of trouble jacob's trouble which we are heading into again, once again okay we are heading into these times man if you cannot see that that means you're not paying attention you're not watching and praying as our lord yahusha told us okay there's another one that i wanted to bring out right second ezra 1674 here O ye my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. You know? So the point being is you gotta arm yourself, as the scripture says in Ephesians, right, with the word of the most high, the, the helmet of uh, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, right? You gotta get this thing while you can. You gotta plead with the Lord, man. For your own uh, uh, salvation and your righteousness, man. That it, that, that it be not taken away. Yahweh Shai told us in the book of... Let's get it. Right, Revelation. Uh, I mean, all these are good, man. Two and twenty-five. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. What do we have? This knowledge, this surety. Uh, before I'm gonna get those ones, what do we really got? Is the confidence. It might be in the apocrypha, though. You know it's it's crazy man I, 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 this scripture i've been going over a few a few weeks and now i can't find it but roughly paraphrasing man if someone knows that you can put it in the, in the comments but it ba basically says blessed is a man that hath not lost his confidence in the lord you know roughly paraphrasing and what that means is you can be going through hell you can be uh, uh we all go off man we all fall but the point is not being stuck in the mud you know, and the point is, oh man, the Lord can't forgive me for this and for that. The Lord said there's only one sin He can't forgive you of, which is the uh, sin of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. All right? So when you get down and out, man, you can't stay in that state of mind. You always got to be like, yo, man, the Lord's working with me. You know, I'm, I'm still here. I still know His name. You know, I'm still pleading and praying unto Him. I'm still on the highways and byways. And I'm trying to do the best I can. Because you got men out there that say, yo, man, fuck it. I can't do this anymore, you know, and you literally lost that strength and confidence in your mind, you know, I know mind is in there, but there's a lot of scriptures with the word mind. Like, this is a good scripture. This isn't the one, but this is Sirach 30 and 21, which says, Give not over the mind to heaviness and afflict not thyself in thine own counsel. Meaning, you, you, you beat yourself up. Oh, I'm fucking, I'm so wicked. I'm, I'm in the flesh, man. I want to do better and I can. And, and you're just, you're just uh, afflicting yourself in your mind, giving your, yourself a damn headache. We know we're in the flesh, man. 
and it does uh, 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 so uh, you know grind our gears and piss us off, man, when we go off, because we know what is the right path, we know what is pleasing unto the Lord. But but dude, man, th th this uh, this flesh is on autopilot, man. So lucky, man. I can't. I can't find it. It's crazy because I. It's like I've been seeing it these past few weeks, but now I can't find it. But the the uh, the point being is, uh, it's just that, man. You know, that you gotta you gotta hold this thing, and fast means uh, 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 very uh, like tight. You know. Um, so back to. Uh, 3 and 11 Behold I come quickly Right, The Lord is Again What does the scripture say What is the Habakkuk Though with Terry Wait for it And it seems like it's tearing But it's on the Lord's time Okay It's slow down here But it's fast to the Lord man Alright Hold that fast Which thou hast That no man Take thy crown Which is what Your salvation your reward, your payment, your your retirement plan. <laughs> okay, so you gotta hold what you got, which is this word, man. You can't let a man or a philosophy or a demon or an angel come to you and take you out this thing, man. You gotta hold, no. This is the way, and you're gonna walk in it, man. Because at the end of the day, you know these philosophies, as, as the scripture says in Proverbs, man. The lips of a strange woman droppeth as, as a honeycomb. So, these philosophies sound sweet. And if you tangle yourself up in them too long, um, you, you know, you can get caught, man. You can get caught out there. And you lost your confidence in your mind in the Lord. Which is a scary thing because now you're outside the, uh, the sanctuary. You're, out, you're in the congregation of the dead, really. So yeah, man. With that, I couldn't find the scripture Salaki on that. My bad. Um, but I so I want to say Kal Halal Bashim Yaushai Bashim and double honors unto the apostles of GMS, whom I have learned this truth from, who rule well. And salutations unto you, Akim and Aquathim, that do take heed in sincerity and in truth. May Yahweh Bashim increase your faith and knowledge as well. Until next time, Lord's will. On to the next Shalom.